as life pranked you, you put some new bars on your new bike and everything went wrong. I'm not laughing, are you? Yeah, I ordered these bars and yeah, I tried to rush because I wanted to get the Daytona. This is like two years ago, so this has been going on for two years. I pulled the wires through and I broke the throttle wire. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna hot wire it or uh, hard wire it. So that's what I did and I've, I've had nothing but problems. I don't know if I did it the wrong way. I put the wires on wrong. I don't know if I have a short in here now. The bike is just acting crazy this year. It just keeps like lunging just cruising down the road and all of a sudden it just like kicks in really hard so I don't know I gotta fix this now it's been the check engine light's been on for two years and I I need to get this fixed so I, I got a new twist throttle I'm gonna put that in pick these bars back off I finally figured out how to get the plugs off the wire so we can mess with that I think so I can, hopefully I can get these wires through properly we are going to find out why this bike has so many problems here. Let's take this apart and figure out what I did wrong. Where the shorts are. I got new parts. Let's, let's do this. So here's the part number. I think this is 2017 or newer. And this is, when I pulled the wires through, what I did was, the guy was helping me and he pulled so hard that he pulled all the wires out of here and broke this fitting and I was just like Ugh, I ain't got time for this guys going to Daytona I had to get the bike on a trailer so I I I finished cutting this off and then I cut the bike side off and I just hardwired it and I don't I didn't know if I ever got it figured out if I got the wires on right and it looks like See, because the black and the black are exactly the same on here, and the red and the red are exactly the same. White's on top, white on the bottom. And on the bike side, because I cut the bike side off too, which I shouldn't have cut it so short, which now, this is, I gotta figure, I gotta figure out how to solder this now too. I got a solder gun. I don't, everything's on back order, so I can't get the bike side they, they're trying to get me the pins in this new connector, and I don't know if that'll ever come in. So we'll figure that out, but I see the white. The white's on, let's see, what's the plug side? So the, the green is on top, white is on the bottom. And if you don't get these whites right, it won't run. I know, because I got them wrong, and I couldn't figure it out, and I switched the whites around. I got it to run, and I've tried switching the blacks and the reds around, and I don't know, it still couldn't fix the check engine light. And I noticed something else with this. I don't know if you see this right here. This blue wire, has a red, a black, and a white inside this blue wire. And you have a red and a black and a white outside that blue wire. Well, I couldn't see this blue wire inside the handlebar because the bars are so big that the wire barely made it to the bottom. And I ordered 12s, and this guy gave me 14s, but from the bottom here to here is 16 inches. And I guess this is 2 inches down, so this would be 14. So this wire barely made it out. So I could never figure out if I had the wires right. So I'm curious when I take it apart, I'm gonna tape up what I thought was right and see if it was right or not. Cause I gotta figure out what I did, what I did so wrong. I'm wondering if there's a short. They say that you can't cut this cause there's resistance in this line. I don't know, some sort of resistance that they say if you cut this you're gonna mess up everything so it's like okay so I bought a new 100 bucks 
I think mine's probably fine because I cut it right down here. Like, is it really going to change that much? But I bought a new one because I, I don't want to go through this again. And I finally found some videos on how to get these plugs off. Because I tried to pull these all through. And yeah, that was a bad idea. So I'm going to get take it apart and pull it through the right way. All right, let's get these off. I got I got these bags here. I don't drink this stuff, but along the way, I knew this day was gonna come, and I was gonna need these bags to put my. Uh, I didn't have them the first time around. Put my levers in, so we'll use them. Let's go. I'm gonna show us real quick. So from the bottom of there. We're looking at about 16, 16, which will bring apparently this down to 14. So this is just long enough to hook up the wires in there. 16, so 14 inches high. But yeah, I don't know how you figure that out. But yeah, and this Memphis shade, which I love this Memphis shade. The wind works so much better is 12 inches now if you get a Memphis shade you will be able to turn if the handlebars aren't too close they're pretty much straight up and I had to loosen this and turn it down because it was hitting hitting right here so loose I just loosened that up pushed them down on both sides so yeah this is a must for wind night and day so this all will work if you uh, move the brake and clutch levers. All right, I'm gonna take these screws off, take this off right now. All right, I got this. Well, the mirror don't quite fit in a bag, but oh well, good enough. The first time, I didn't even have a bag when I did it the first time, so we'll just. Let that sit right there, maybe we'll. I don't want to do that either. I'll just, you just stay right there. Okay. So we're good there. We'll take off the other side. Okay, I got that side off. You know, when you're switching your handlebars, you got this knobby here. I took a hammer. I set this on a piece of wood. I took a hammer and I just, one good smack and that popped off right flush. You know, I seen people use a grinder and I was like, ah, let's see. So I took a hammer, boom perfect so way quicker cover your tank the first time I took this side off I couldn't get it to come off so I I turned to go get a screwdriver and if that some bitch didn't fall and to this day it haunts me I, I can't uh, you can't really see only a certain time of, right right there I don't know if you can see it but there's this the smallest ding in my tank and I go to bed every night thinking about that thing that that one little ding that haunts me throw something over your tank just saying now there's, there's a piece that goes here I left that off until I fixed the problem because I didn't want to break that keep taking it on and off the first time I did this I used the thing and I took the key off this and I messed that up too had to go to the dealership and they had to reset this so you know what leave it on take this part off twist it to get this off but with these handlebars I got to take up pliers and gently take these two screws out so we're gonna do that now and then I'm gonna twist this and pull that off and unplug the wires Okay, so I turned this, I pulled it back, and then I took the wires off and I, I shut it back off. So we got this wire, you gotta gently pull these two off. This one, you gotta squeeze the bottom. Squeeze, push up, pull out. This one's on top. Squeeze in, pull out. So that one's sitting on top like that. And this one's sitting like that. Squeeze, it's hard to get your finger in there, but get it in there and squeeze. 
All right, now let's look at what I did wrong here. These, I think, were for the uh, hand warmers. I just cut those. But I had to wire, hot wire, the throttle in, hard wire, here. And I don't know if I got the reds to reds, black to blacks. I don't know how I'm gonna solder these. This is this might be a nightmare. But I didn't break these, which is good. You can see where the I actually had went and got extensions. I didn't need to get extensions, but I was worried that the wires were getting pulled on because they made it right to here. Right to there, literally. So I got these extensions to go to here. And this one I did not have an extension but it was long enough but I don't know where that where the wires were taped together I got so I don't know if I got the reds right so yeah and I don't think I needed this because I could never find where it plugged in anyways okay let's take these four bolts out, unplug it, and we'll pull the handlebars off. All right, I'm looking at this wiring, and the wires are pulled out of here, and I'm like, what went to there? And this is a plug, and that's the plug for the throttle. This is that plug. The plug is on there. I'm looking at this, and I'm like, where are the wires? All right, we need to make sure I get that back through. I, I have to look back at this video and see if was that just pl plugged in or not. All right, I think I got everything disconnected now. Yeah, this was. Uh, I really did a number on this. All right, let's get the bars off and make sure you hold your handlebars bars because they will drop and they will hit your tank quick. Yeah, so key note there hold the Hanna bars up okay the Hanna bars are off it's such a mess in this garage shed I don't really have a garage so uh, yeah we're gonna have to do this in the dirt out here so I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna pull these out nicely and I don't think there's anything wrong with this side, but I'm going to pull them out too. So we're going to pull them all back through just to make sure there's no shorts anywhere. Because I don't want to do this again. Just a quick note. You can see where the wires, I mean, they barely made it out the bottom. But you got a little bit more because you, you pull it through, you kind of hook stuff up, but then you kind of pull them back when you hook this up. So you, you do get a little bit more... Getting this connector off was, that was hell, because it was stuck here, and I didn't want to try to pull it back through, because I didn't want it to get stuck in there and get broke, but I, I still messed up a wire trying to do it right there. I'm just, this is just beyond me at this point. So I took the screws out of here, pull this little tab here, lift this up. Hope you see how that goes in there. pull here and this got little teeth on here <sighs> so now I'm gonna pull these wires back through hopefully we'll see how this goes well I got it pulled out and that was sketchy it almost didn't come back through I was yeah it's a good thing I took those plugs off oh my god this is just so not happy with this right now. So, I did the sleeve came off too. So I'm trying to see, was there any shorts in there or what? Like what was the deal with this? I'm really not seeing any. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Is it just because I cut it or what? All right, let's see if I can get the 
plug off the new one, which I am praying that I can. All right, this is this has just been a nightmare. I almost don't even want to make this video. I don't even know if I will. Cause okay, the uh, left side I put this back on. I'm not even gonna mess with it because it's this is. I watched a couple of videos on how to get the ends off of these. And you gotta take a paper clip or whatever, a needle, and you stick it in there and you pry up and the wires come out. There's a couple of videos. Maybe I'll link one in here, maybe I won't. But it ex explains it pretty good. But for the life of me, I tried to do it. And it was hard because this this was the wire that was was in here. I I just pulled it back through. Here's the new uh, wait, there are the new throttles here. I did not take that. I, was, I did not even mess with that because I was scared to mess up the pins and so I tried to do this one. I got a couple out and then I ended up breaking one wire and this other wire goes to. Um, this guy and I ended up breaking him and then this one I ended up right here breaking one of those <sighs> so that's where I'm I think I'm okay because that's as long as I didn't mess with the throttle break this one again oh my god so since I broke this one and this one, I tied them together and I left this one on and it, I used the chain. You know, if you drop the chain down, the tube, it's heavy enough, it'll, it'll go down and fall at the bottom. It's like a lampshade chain, heavy duty. So yeah, so I figure it's okay I broke these, because what I'm gonna do, because since I have extensions, I am going to, and these are for the switches. I'm gonna cut these. I'm gonna cut my new extensions. I'm gonna solder, and then I'll still have the plug. I'll cut this end off, solder this, use, use these, make it real nice, and I'll still have a nice plug at the end to plug in. And then I'll do the same with this one. Or no, I'm gonna solder the end back on here and then stick it back in that plug. Where's that guy? This guy right here. I'm gonna solder him back on. So I got some soldering to do. This is a nightmare. I'll, I'll maybe link that video on how to get these out. If you can get them out, <laughs> power to you. But man, I did not want to take that chance with this one again. I mean, they make it look easy, but yeah, we all know. I use a pin, a sewing needle, safety pin. I use one of these. Yeah, it, it just didn't work. So yeah, it's a good thing I bought a brand new, really nice soldering gun. So I'm gonna put these on really nice. With these, and these, and hopefully I can make this work again. Alright, let's do this. Yeah. Welcome to Backyard Mechanic, right? I was never good. I never understood soldering. And I think it's always because I was always using the wrong the wrong stuff. Cause it, when you use the right solder, it, it works really well. So I'm gonna do that and I got these shrink wraps. I'm gonna put over and melt them. This is gonna look brand new guys. It's not right, but it is what it is. All right, so I soldered this, got that back in there. And then these are done. Beautiful. Like, like factory, like brand new. So I think the only thing left is I gotta fix the bike side now. I gotta put a new uh, end on there. And then we are almost done. Well, this is what I got to work with. This is gonna be a delicate operation. I'm just gonna put until Harley gets the right connector for me to put back on with more wire. I'm gonna put this back on, just put these back on. 
and, I, and then I can just plug it in. So let's see if I can do some delicate soldering. OMG. All right, delicate operation is over and they're on good. How do I know? Because my dumbass forgot to put shrink wrap on two of them and trying to get them back off was almost freaking impossible. All right, so this is the bike side. I'm gonna plug this in and then uh, maybe we can get these handlebars back on. All right, I got these back on. Basically the same as we were, you know, same way I took them off, put them back on. All right, I can hook up some wires now. So, the one we were worried about is right here. And he goes there. I noticed this one goes here. That was never hooked up. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, basically they all, you know how they go. All right, I got this mess back together. I didn't put the screws in the dash yet. Here and here. Make sure it at least starts, right? <sighs> and, uh, this will be the first start right now. And who have any of you been watching the channel? I ended up cleaning the uh, Beggar Brothers exhaust. Yeah, I went on with a steel wool brush and painted them. And put the, uh, what is that, the Wasu's back on? Because that, uh, what is that? Uh, what is that? Cobras? Yeah, the Cobras, the true, are uh, the power duels. Oh, I can't stand how they sound. So I went back to the true duels. I just cleaned them up, fixed them. All right. Will this thing run? Why is there bright light on? Hopefully I cut out that little bit of music. All right, let's see if she runs. Oh, and she don't run. Oh, there we go. That works, that works. So far, so good. Come on, baby. Oh, no start. Oh, how about we put it in neutral? That might, that might really help the situation here. Okay, there we go. Try to clear the codes, sitting with something in right. So let's do this again. The button's right here. Hold this button in, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do it with one, two hands here. Holding that in. Turn it on. It says diagnostic. Okay. Now I'm gonna press the button once. ECM, no. BCM, yes. Hold the button down. U0121C. I'm going to hold the button down. Clear. Okay. Hit it again. BCM. Hold the button down. Same thing. Hold the clear. Hold that again. I don't know. Can't get rid of that one. Okay. So What's this? Beetle? Hold the button down. 0121C. Same thing. Clear. Same, still there. Maybe yes, no. Red, yes. Hold the button down. U0001H. Clear. No, that says it's gone. BCM. Let's try this again. 0121. Oh, no, it says it's gone. Okay, hold on. Wait a second here. Hold the button down. Clear. That's back again. Hold the button down. 
Come on, go away. Nope. So, BCM is back. Uh, well, it's the same code. All right, let's turn it off. All right, let's see what shows up on the dash. See, that red light needs to not be there, and the ABS needs to not be there. <clears throat> went for a rip and uh, the surging is gone it ran great had all kinds of pep and uh, yeah even when I was turning around to get it out of the garage over there once you know when the issue it would every time I move the handlebars it would kind of rev, rev, rev you know, just a little bit and then going on the road at a nice pace it would like kick you know like vroom. Yep, so that problem's fixed. The code is saying lost signal with the ABS. So, so right now the ABS light is on. It could be an easy fix. It could be something I did. I don't know. We gotta figure that out next, but I think we're good with the throttle. I think we're good. We are uploading. Please like and subscribe.